Yes, well, hello and greetings from Las Vegas. This is CES 2019. We're at the Las Vegas Convention Center. They expect some 200,000 people to flood through those doors this week. Why, what is CES, what's the big deal? It's basically the world's most impressive tech gathering. Just about every country is here. Some 4,500 exhibitors showing off what they believe will be the future of tech. Some prototypes, some working, some in development, and yes, some from Seattle. In fact, Seattle knows a thing or two about tech. But what about east of the mountains? The pride and joy of Walla Walla. The Wilkinson Baking Company brought their bread bot. They're making CES smell better this year. That is basically a bread vending machine. You can see these in your local grocery stores, perhaps in the years to come. It is fantastic. It's super impressive. Not to be outdone, ladies and gentlemen, the robot takeover, I know it can be scary, but what if I told you it could fold your laundry? Foldimate to the rescue. It can do it. There were two of these devices last year. Neither one of them actually worked. This is a working prototype, ladies and gentlemen. You put your clothes in, it will fold them. It will spit them right back out. Now, if you're going to come to CES, what good is being here if you don't document it, right? Got to get the ultimate selfie. But this is so 2018 to hold it myself. Ladies and gentlemen, they estimate there's some 100 million selfies taken every day. Introducing Air Selfie. Yes, basically, it is a tiny drone that follows you around just to take selfies. And it's right here at CES. In fact, one of the only big names missing from CES this year would be Apple. They're not here because a lot of their competitors are here, but don't think they didn't take the opportunity to take up some ad space just outside the convention center, taking a swipe at their friends at Facebook and company, no doubt. So as you can see, it's a friendly rivalry here. That's the story at CES 2019. Now I gotta go do some shopping.